all right. This week I am here with my crew, my girls' crew. Why do I have kids socks, you might ask? Well, I had a vision. By that I just mean I had ideas. It wasn't like spiritual or magic in any way, unfortunately. Then again, if my spiritual visions were about making sock puppets, I think I'd be a little sad. All right, so what we got? We got 20 socks and introducing a new friend today. Oh, she's got a glue gun. Oh, she's too powerful. So we got a glue gun, we got socks, we have, you won't believe it, the big bag of crafts. Yeah, we are going to turn these socks into sock puppets. Are you ready? Well, let's do it. That sucks. We'll see, the um, instructions I read said they used like really fun, fuzzy socks. I couldn't find anything good. Walmart didn't have my back six weeks ago when I bought these. It was like Christmas when I bought these. It's not Christmas right now. Oh God, I, I, I am a very small person. And these are, these are tight. Step one, let's make the mouth of the puppet. We need a piece of cardboard. Well, golly goodness, it certainly looks like I brought cardboard. Wants a piece of cardboard, the width of the sock. So I don't know how many we're gonna make. I think it really depends on how soon my soul exits my body. Well, isn't, you know, the words are gone. It's a Friday. No, it's not. It's not even Friday. So oh, my week's going. So we got two. I think we're gonna start with two. We'll see where the act of creation takes us. Is this even warming up? Oh, yes it is. Okay. Cut a piece of cardboard that fits just inside the width of your sock, then fold it in half like you're closing its mouth. I think I can manage that. So this one I title Mixed Grill, and this one is Poultry Platter. Those are my two children. Ooh, what kind of mouth shape? You can even give your puppet a overbite or underbite. How charming. Oh, and this one has a beak, because I was talking. And it got restricted, and it is a little pointy, and this one's pretty round, so. Oh, I haven't decided on a color scheme. Let's grab pink for this first one. So what we're gonna do is just, she um, glues felt on the inside and then the outside, you get it. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. Oh God, everything is more difficult than it feels like it should be, you know? Like, is that just being alive? Let's break out our heavy, heavy glue de do gun. Oh, that's nice, that's smooth. I guess the, the glue gun I used to have was very old and the glue just came out not very smoothly. I'm guessing it had some sort of clog, but like, who among us doesn't? Little mouth, I think that's gonna work. I think, I think I'm a genius. Oh, and my mouth's a little willy wonky, but that's gonna be okay. Is this conceptually making any sense to anyone who's not me or in this room right this second. Oh, we we're supposed to glue teeth on. I don't think this guy's gonna have teeth on account of I didn't read the directions. And that says you can glue a little tongue on. Back to the paper. Got a vision. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna give him a little forked tongue. Like he's a guy with business, you know? I'm getting hot glue everywhere. Okay, mouth update. So what else? For our dragon's eyes, we glued hot, we hot glued googly eyes onto big pom-poms and glued them onto the puppet's head. I really didn't read these directions. I glanced. I still don't know how this is gonna come out. Oh, what color eyes? So this one's all orange and pink. Maybe we do pink eyes? Oh, that's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Oh, see, cause I have a vision of using these and you glue the eyes on the end and it has like little space eyes. Oh, that's cool. They would be like right up here on the top, right? You would think like eyeballs. Oh, that's gonna actually be kind of creepy. Oh, it's making a little glue statue. How charming. That's cute, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Is that adorable or creepy? From here, it seems adorable. It, this might end up being terrifying. For the record, this is not what the craft recommends you do. This is just what I've chosen to do. I like a little chaos, you know? I like to, I like my crafts interesting. I think this guy either might be very charming or he might be a disaster. Sounds like dating. <laughs> might be really cute. He might be a murderer. Okay, and then it says you can use little pom-poms for a little nose. I'm thinking little orange nostrils right there on the little nose tip. All right, is there anything else she adds? Oh, and she added little spikes. Um, I mean, 
how about let's try it on as it is and we can see what it might need. Oh, I am not a girl size four to 10. I don't even know if this would fit a girl. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello. Is this upsetting? I kind of, I kind of hate looking at it. This looks like something you would see in an episode of SpongeBob. Like, look at those eyes. Is that not? Oh, I know who he's reminding me of. Exactly. It's um, yeah, this is Gary, but like a horror version of SpongeBob Snail. This thing is so uncomfortable. Hey kids. Yeah. Okay, I think we've learned a lot. I don't even know what to call this man. I think he was a good first try and I think we can do better. Take two. I have a lot of faith in me. So we've got another same color sock. I already cut out the mouth. Oh yeah, that was poultry platter. This is mixed grill cat pate box. So fundamentals, we need to make his mouth a color. So we need something that will cover that shape. Last time I didn't do a great job with that and I paid for it. Oh, I think maybe this one should be like a rare bird. Yeah, like some sort of exotic bird. That's that's the vibe. I don't know what that vibe is. I guess Gary the Snail was that vibe. This one's gonna be bird vibe. We're losing them. Losing so much glue. Hot glue is in the name for a reason. So we've got our bird's beak. I think it needs a little yellow. What shapes can you bequeath us with today? Ooh, that's, we got a little leaf that I think will make a perfectly adequate tongue. I love creating new horror characters. It's kind of cute, right? So it doesn't need teeth because it's a bird. And I think we add some plumage once we get it on there. Oh, this is much bigger than the sock. Maybe that's gonna be interesting. And since I glued this the way I did, it doesn't really fold like it's supposed to. So we're gonna have to fold the sock up, which I know just is not gonna glue right. can promise that. Yeah, I mean, I um, if I had never seen a bird, I think I'd be really impressed with this. Is that gonna be significantly worse to have the eyes like perched on a stick, like you glue a stick on, and then the eyes are gonna be like, on the sides. I think it's gonna be different. One and a two and a skiddly diddly do. Everything is covered in glue. That might actually be kind of charming. Isn't that kind of cute? I don't know if it's at all what a bird looks like, um, but I'm charmed by it. All right, I think we gotta give him a nose and then we can consider some assorted plumage. Got that double went down to Georgia stuck in my head. I have listened to that song every hour for the past three days and I love it. I'm having a great time. Oh, the internet's gonna think I don't know what birds look like. And they might be right. So now we want, I'm thinking some, some feathers maybe. I got a lot of pom poms. Those aren't really feathers, but they're really cute. Should we just maybe do like a little strip of pom poms in the back? That could be really cute. This is really fun. I totally get why kids do activities like this. Oh, 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 the burns, the burns. I'm thinking, oh, I should do some up here, huh? Yeah, yeah. My passion in making these is trying to get everything completely cleaned up by the time my partner gets home so that he doesn't even know it happened until the video goes out. And he's like, did you film? And I'm like, what? Um, except when I did build that spaceship from last week. Uh, he did notice that one because he came home and he went, there's a spaceship in the living room. And I was like, what? Oh, it's kind of a nightmare. Oh, it's kind of scary. Um, I'm covered in glow. I do think we need some more dimension though. Like it's all pretty, birds are also, you get it. So we could make little feather shapes, huh? We can do that. They can't stop us. Oh, that's the look. We got like a little, it's gonna be a little crown. I'm innovating. This isn't in the directions. That's always what I say before things go terribly wrong. I'm always so smug until the minute I'm inconvenienced and then it's all over. Oh, that's kind of, I mean, it's, it's a little bit horrifying, but it's kind of cute. Right? 
Place your vote now for which of these lovely ladies you would like to take to the prom. Should we do one more? I feel a little bad because that means we're gonna waste a pair of socks, but I will actually, this is my guarantee, I'll throw that extra sock in my bag and I guarantee we'll find a use for it. I don't doubt it. One more, I need my cardboard. It's on the floor. I'm trying to think what I want this next one to be and maybe it will tell me you know, maybe I don't need to decide. Cause their original design they give you is like a dragon is what it's supposed to be. And he's supposed to have big scary eyes. Um, but I can't name any other animals. We could do a spider. I was just thinking the number of eyes I have. I have so many eyeballs and we could give him eight eyes. Don't we have eight eyes? Or is it just the legs? I don't know, but he's getting eight eyes, whoever the hell he is. And that's that. So spider mouth, I don't know. Let's cut a basic shape and we can always make the paper a fun shape. Ah, yes, the regular mouth shape of a potato. Like, look at it from this side. This is why they wouldn't let me into art school. Just kidding, didn't apply. I was too good. I was too good. Ooh, orange and black. I don't have black. Orange, it smells bad in here. And I think it's the hot glue gun. I just cut a normal round mouth. I think that's gonna do. We'll decorate elsewhere. I'm super confident in what's gonna come out of this. Hey, what a fun noise. So what do we know about spiders? Personally, um, basically nothing. I want him to be friendly because I don't want to perpetuate bad stereotypes about spiders, but he's gonna have a just an absurd number of eyes and I'm excited for that. Let's give him little pom-pom teeth. I feel like, we haven't even played with the concept of these guys could have teeth. Well, what color? I guess lime green would go really well, huh? That's kind of a nightmare. I mean, it works as intended, but um, I hate it. So I hate that. Um, what's next? Why do none of these have arms? Like if you can imagine little arms sticking out down here, that's hilarious. This guy's getting arms. I was gonna trim the arms down and then I forgot, but I'm honestly kind of a fan of how ridiculous they are. Great, he has a mouth, he has arms. What more do you need? All right, now we're going to create the part I'm most excited about, which is the eyes. So I'm thinking, I kind of like the what we did to the first guy. Um, and I'm thinking we'll have two on the really big ones and then we'll have smaller ones in the middle. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did on that one, except this one's different on account of I said so. Okay. Um, that didn't work. And it's really hot, help. I don't remember this first one being this difficult, but this one is kicking my butt. We're gonna do it and it's gonna be easy this time. That was easier. I think I got smarter. It's hard to explain how much glue is everywhere right now. All right, these are our eyes. Do you see the vision? Get it, see and vision because they're eyes. Ah, glue. Oh jeez. This is gonna be a blast to sort out. Okay, dry enough. That's gonna be the vision for those. And then we're gonna have some more right in front. And it's gonna be adorable. We're fearless, we're brave. We have the power of hot glue on our side. We're just doing a best of for everything we just saw over there. All my best ideas, which is admittedly most of my ideas. I'm kidding. It's like two of my ideas. It's just, it's gonna be balls all the way. I mean that in every sense. Oh, a pom-pom. Got stuck to my hot glue and now is, is, is on there. So she's got 10 eyes and a pom-pom. Update, there's glue everywhere. Isn't she beautiful? I, should I try her on? I think it's all cool enough that I won't die. Okay. Oh, there's a little heat. I can feel it. The teeth are a nightmare. Um, I'll at least make the arm wave. I'm getting a phone call and I, I'm a little preoccupied. So yeah, I think this one might be my favorite. Um, the teeth make no sense. The eyes are too many and the arms are terrifying. And I love that about this one, considering this is where we began and this is where we ended. I think, I think I've come a long way. Excuse me for a moment. Ladies, someone's calling me and I 
busy, clearly. I think we've achieved it. Um, I'm obsessed with these, they are quite charming. So yeah, I will clean up this mess. My house looks like a disaster, thank you for asking. And then hopefully we will be back again next week. See ya.